People get infected based on their interaction with where the vector is found. There are certain vegetations where the vector is found, and such vegetations are where the, the, the temperatures and humidity are appropriate. And you can find this quite often along the rivers. So what happens is that in those areas where people go to bath or to do their routine activities, and they expose themselves to the bite of the sesa fly. Now the good thing is that if people who are infected by this disease are identified, there is treatment that is available. So there is need to be able to make a diagnosis of those who are infected and then they are treated. The disease progresses in a chronic manner. In the early stages, the disease is easier to treat and to manage because it has not gone into the brain. In the Bar Congo region, which includes Congo Central Province, Republic of Congo and Angola, there exists one focus of sleeping sickness where control efforts by the national program has reduced the number of cases to such a level where we were certain that it is possible to drive the number of cases to zero. When the prevalence of sleeping sickness is high, the best way of controlling the disease is to organize what is called active screening campaigns. So what we do, we use an algorithm that ensures that we deliver access to these diagnostics to the communities as close as possible to where they live. So if somebody is found positive using the rapid test, they would be referred for confirmatory testing by microscopy. And if they are found negative by microscopy, they don't travel any further. A blood sample is dried on filter paper and it is transported to the nearest laboratory where molecular testing by lamp can be performed. This is a test that identifies parasite DNA. What is unique about this test is that it has been simplified in such a manner that it can be deployed to a district laboratory and can be performed by technicians who do not have any training in molecular biology. Quite often, the clinical signs that are associated with malaria are very close to those that are associated with sleeping sickness. And because malaria is much more prevalent than sleeping sickness, we use that as a filter. If somebody is positive for the malaria, they are treated and they are asked to come back if they do not feel well. If they are negative for malaria, they immediately get tested for sleeping sickness. Between 1998 and 2002, if one came to this ward, they would find it full of sleeping sickness patients. The goal right now is to drive the number of cases to zero so that there is no transmission. WHO has set 2030 as the year by when the number of cases globally should have been reduced to zero.